Hello everybody, welcome back to this DCS Liberation campaign for the Syria map. So, today's conditions are it's 1600 local time. Uh, we have clear skies, no rain, no fog. Uh, we were able to take Palmyra, uh, that last couple of turns there. I think it was last turn, yeah. It's been a little bit since I've done my last mission. Uh, but we're up to 316 million per turn. So we are slowly increasing, and I have spent most of that on new airplanes and a couple uh, frontline units as well. Uh, today's mission is really to uh, help out, um, take out this SA-11 site here. And I'm part of a, a two sh or a four-ship um, F-16 package. Uh, two of us are doing a strike, which I'm part of, and then two uh, seat escorts as well. And the idea is to uh, hit this before some Apaches come in uh, from uh, Al-Hajar uh, that they will kind of clean up the area. Um, this site plus also this SA-13 as well. So we're flying in and I will be dropping uh, some JSOWs again. And hopefully the JSOWs will uh, help eliminate the targets that are there. So overall, uh, usually usually show uh, all the flights here, but um, yeah, so what we have going on here is just a lot of tar cap, a lot of tar cap, tar cap, tar cap, and then we have our strike. Uh, I do have um, some hornets uh, flying in and to uh, soften up this uh, SA-2, SA-2, I think there's an SA-2 here. Yeah, we want to take out this SA-2 here so we can help open up uh, for a future strike against this SA-5 site. I just feel like um, that we need to take out this SA-2 first, and then we can uh, focus in on SA-5. So I have a bunch of Hornets flying in uh, from the carrier group, and they're coming in and striking the SA-2. Very good. Um, what we do have to contend with today is a lot of flankers. <laughs> uh, there's 14 here at al Qasar, and I probably said that wrong. And um, as well over here, we have... Four MiG 23s, and then Damascus. We have only uh, five flankers, and then down here just a couple uh, MiG 29s at Ramat David. Uh, that's uh, securing that area. So hopefully uh, my flights will be good, and that's why we have a lot of tar cap. I do have one cast flight uh, supporting this front line uh, with this FOB. Uh, they have about eh, about 18 ground units. We only have 16 here. Um, and I don't have a cast flight over at Palmyra, um, which the front line is very close to the base. I probably should have put a, put some uh, ground units here. But the um, we have 30 ground units here, so hopefully they can protect the base pretty easily. But I do have cap flight, so if they send in a uh, cast flight, uh, they can hopefully cap will take care of them. So very good. Uh, so that's today's strategy. And um, so I'll be in the Viper here, and I will take off shortly. So I'll see you in the pit. All right, see you in one sec. Hey everybody, welcome back. So here we are. Here's my jet for today. F-16 Fighting Falcon, better known as the Viper. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump the cockpit. Hey, I haven't done a startup with you guys for a while, so uh, let's go ahead and do the startup. Alright, took the battery on. Just a flight control system. Let's do it. See how this performs today too. I'm uh, actually using the uh, DCS uh, multi-thread. I'm not using the dedicated server today. So we are two five zero four five two five zero. Go ahead and close up the canopy. Kick on the parking brake. Springfield, one, one. Request startup. Springfield, one, one. Cleared for startup. Wind two, four, two. At three meters per second. All right, let's go ahead and hit the uh, start two.
way for our 20% and uh, SEC to light to go out. All right, there's 20 percent lights up. Let's go ahead and introduce some fuel. Pause the rate in our RPM. Temperature's getting a little testy there, as long as she drops back down. Very good, so about 6 percent, good engine light. Test our fuel. Yep, 6,000 pounds. Just make sure there's no errors on our pedo heat. And test. Yep. Good. And we should have a uh, overheat and fire on our caution panel. Pull up. Altitude. Warning. Gamma. Counter. Cat flare. Low. Looks like we're having a successful Out. light and Lock. audio test. Caution. Bingo. Soda. IFN. Very good. Alright, let's turn on our home pneumatic system. MFD, ZOC. GPS and the bids on on and we're gonna do a normal alignment because we have a tech off time at six nineteen after. Alright, so with the normal alignment we want to make sure we uh, enter our latitude and longitude. I assume these are correct. That's correct. Controls a little bit, yeah. We'll do our flight control bit test, and let's go ahead and turn on our M4 code, our IFF, and I'm flashing because we're starting up. We are carrying a ECM pod today, so we're going to get this thing fired up. Let's go to Cat 3, because we are a heavy bird. Set our bingo today, we'll put in 3,600 pounds for Joker. And Bullseye is waypoint 11. M select to designate that. It'll show up on your MFT. So here, I'll hit it. Now you can see it gives you your direction and range to your bullseye. But we are on waypoint 11. There we go. And we got a QNH today, uh, 3015. system all aligned. Let's come up a little bit. That's pretty good. And the roll looks outstanding. All right, let's set up our counter measures. We hit list seven. Get our sequence over to chaff and speed of chaff. Do seven and then flares. Let's go hit zero, so that'll put out seven chaff, one flare. We hit our program one. Let's go to program two. 
Let's go six and six. Program three is fine. Program four is fine. Program five is not fine. Set that to uh, release um, two flare, two shaft at uh, interval 0 0.5, 0 0.05, and do it 10 times. And that's, that's your slap squidge right there, program five. Very good. All right, so we've got some G-Sows. So we've got our strike is on 3.456 and 7. So four, five, six is our is our primary target. So four, five, six. Okay. All right, down to thirty-eight. Moving right along. 16, 19, and runway 27. Busy today. Okay, so we're taking her off runway 27, so we'll be going out across the freeway and down the, the taxiway here. Very good. Thirty two. We're carrying up. We are carrying up. Hats. So programmer hats there. Countdown twenty five. Yep, I don't think we have an ILS for uh, Al Dahar. So we're on the T7. Yep. So I got a successful bit test. But that's the, put our radar to standby. Our FESC, FCR to own. All right, almost ready. So performance seems to be pretty well using multi-threading. Watching my cores off my other monitor here <laughs> on a test manager, and they're all being used. All right, alignment tunnel's done. There we go. Got a ready status. Since you didn't have. Good. Let's go ahead and ask Cower to see if we can taxi to runway. Field one, one. Request taxi to runway. Probably got a 
Busy little airport here. Ah, we'll probably get clearance here in just a second. Let's press the issue. Springfield, one, one. Request taxi to runway. Looks like we're clear to text across the runway. Just had a little stutter. I don't know if you saw that. It's a lot of airplanes up in the air today for this mission, so. Testing out that multi three. Mighty Eagles. So I've been actually practicing using the, uh, the F-15. Uh, I've had the uh, Flaming Cliss module for a long time uh, because it's not full fidelity. I haven't been flying the F-15 at all, but it's actually one of my favorite jets of all time. Uh, but I've been practicing on it and just a little bit of learning curve with the new buttons and everything. But uh, I might do a future mission, do a cap mission on the F-15. Of course, when the Strike Eagle comes out, I'll probably be flying that a lot. <laughs> All right, some time. All right. I know, technically I'm supposed to be on the yellow line. Looks like I'm sporting turkey killers today. Yeah, where are we at? Yeah, about halfway down. Oh, yeah, I got a number of F-15s behind us. <laughs> Lots of flights behind us.
727. But the fleet airplanes behind me. Sorry, the trigger point. Clear left, clear right. Very good. Good, good, good. Burn them up to 80%. Everything looks good. So we've got a push time uh 2746. And we're close to that target, huh? I don't need all that bad gas. <laughs> Probably could have put on some arms. That's right. Looks like the package is forming up here. These are probably our F 16s here. This is probably our F 15 fighter escort. Those Apaches should be on their way in too, so we don't want to be too late. That makes them vulnerable. Yeah, it's going to juice up a little bit. I actually don't have an escort, but I do have tar cap in here, yeah. So I'm assuming these are our F-15 tar cap. Yeah, they're out there. Yeah, 
as for our, our these guys. I can't see him so well. Affirmative, sir. Yeah, that's our seat escort in front of us. I'll get it down one day. It's probably our 15s up there. Just extending out here to the west a little bit. So the SA-8 doesn't come into play. right now. It's an SU-30s off our nose. Thank you. Out of baby. Running in. There he goes. He's launching. He's 
launching. There we go. SA-11's not happy. Pickle. Pickle. And for this last one... It's in the target area, I don't know if that's ours. I think it's still a little too early. Springfield Gwen 1, Overlord Gwen 1, pop up group It's in the target area. I didn't kill. Hopefully those Apaches are coming in now and smoking them. Excellent. A little residual... Uh, there but definitely seeing some hits in here hostile at about 60 miles out Sir, thank you. Springfield one one, Overlord one one, Bra, dude one one, four forty five at fifteen thousand knots.
fuel. Drop those off. See him out there. All right, let's launch on this guy. That's yeah, prone. Somebody down low. Ah, dang it. Damn it. That sucks. Wonder what got him. Oh, he was down low. for 19. Feels good. Success pounds. That looks like the SC-11 is out of commission. Very nice.
Yeah, I'm curious to what happened to two there. Overlord, one, one. Springfield, one, one. Request bogey dope. Too. We went about fifteen hundred feet. Oh, yes, sir. far out.
bit of crosswind. Well, we lost number two. Not sure what he was doing. I think he might have been strafing the, uh, strafing something down low. So he was calling out guns, guns, guns. <laughs> uh, but I wanted him to engage bandits. But, yeah, that's too bad. All right, let's get the spur parked up. All right, very good. So let me go ahead and shut it down here. How oh, rude. I'll shut her down here, and uh, I'll see you in the mission debrief and in tech view. All right, see you in just one second. All right, welcome back to our mission debrief for today for this mission number 17. Uh, so here are today's results. Six aircraft were destroyed. Uh, 14 front line you destroyed and six ground objects. Let's go and accept the results. See what the total damage was. Yeah, so we lost one longbow. Uh, we lost two hornets. Uh, we lost my wingman there, the one falcon. And then we lost one tomcat. They lost one fencer. And that was it. And a whole bunch of ground units. So there's the three launchers for the SA-11. So that was good. All right, so. Uh, let me go ahead and hit save, and I will see you in tech view. One second. Hello, everybody. Welcome to tech view. So we just started taxiing here to the runway. Let's speed up time a little bit. Speed up a little bit more. <laughs> All right, just pushing up to waypoint one here, doing our little bit of orbit. Now pushing to waypoint two. Just gonna slow down just a little bit. Lots of F-15s on station that provide some cap support. Uh, here's our seat escort. They do fire some uh, harms. Very nice. I don't know where he's launching. <laughs> That's all right. Then we turn in here. Three point four, he launches very nice. There we go, we can launch our uh, Jace House. Apaches didn't do so well today. And there we go, we got our strikes, very nice. Those SU 24s. I'm starting pretty confident I can fly over the, the airspace here. Yeah, those Apaches couldn't get over the mountains. That's no bueno. Yep, watch on these guys. Oh, okay, I'm going to look for both of those. Turn away. I want to see what happened to two here. Engage these guys, tell him to go engage, but he turns back on the target. Oh, I know what he's doing. So, yep, he was strafing the ground. So we're flying over the airspace there. That's why he gets shot down. <laughs> Bummer. That's no bueno. Alright, I had some uh, B-52. Doing a strike, I want to follow that guy in. Let's give you one second. There he is. Yep, 
Yep, those were the scuds coming in. That's why they were launching. Okay, maybe that B-52 decided not to do anything today. going to take out a um, one mark 84 <laughs> that was it I don't know if he hit this target or not yeah I had a couple of vegans coming in That's all right, though. Well, very good. Uh, the Apaches didn't do anything today, oh, which is too bad. I had three Apaches take off here. One guy gets off the ground. He takes off. It's for his buddy. idea is I hit the SA-11 site, they come in and clean it up. Yeah, this guy's crashed. Hit the mountain. This is Jace House hitting. He did nothing. Bummer. Okay, well that's it for today's uh, mission. I wanted to always, or always want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, somewhat successful mission. I hate losing a, a wingman, but uh, yeah, he decided to do some strafing. So, that's AI for you. Okay, well, I will see you next time in mission number 18. All right, thanks for joining us. Okay, bye-bye.